10. A man in a U-Haul scene ramming a car in North Highlands before the suspect is pulled out. And tonight, CBS 13 is speaking with a victim inside that car. I braced myself for the impact, but I didn't think he was going to hit it with the force he did. I thought he was just trying to maybe scare me, maybe nudge up to the car. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Curtis Ming. And I'm Sharon Merger. CBS 13's Mark Thompson is live with this terrifying ordeal, Mark. And how is that man doing tonight? Well, Sharon and Curtis, the victim in all of this is out of the hospital tonight, but needs crutches to walk around. He says he's grateful to be alive after that U-Haul driving suspect, he says, tried to mow him down. Rammed repeatedly by a U-Haul truck, Ronald Keyes Jr. is battered and bruised, but says the outcome could have been a lot worse. Apparently there's a bruise on my back here. Got a couple cuts here on my arm, couple cuts on my knuckles. Not too, too much. I'm just lucky to be alive. Keyes says he was simply visiting a friend here at this residence off Gilman Way Saturday when out of nowhere an angry guy in a U-Haul came barreling toward him. Keyes took the first and most major blows to the legs before jumping into the car for protection. Struck the car. Kept on the gas, backed up, struck the car again, kept on the gas, backed up, struck again, meanwhile, while my legs were in the way. The homeowner here says the U-Haul suspect is her jealous ex-boyfriend, but she and Keys aren't dating. And her ex, she says, had the wrong guy. I don't know the man. I've never seen him. Honestly, I thought he was the landlord at the, at the time. Another woman on scene was also struck by the U-Haul while holding her four-month-old baby. Keyes says she was simply an innocent bystander, but in his rage, he says he believes the suspect wanted to take them all out and even said so. Maybe he meant you. Uh, he said them, all three of them. Several men from the neighborhood were finally able to wrestle the U-Haul suspect out of the truck, and Keyes says he's grateful. It's just an amazing thing. Those people saw their opportunity. They all came together as one. They pulled that man out the car, and they held him down until the police came to pick him up. It was a beautiful thing. Now, Key says that the woman who was also struck by that U-Haul is doing okay. She sustained some minor injuries, but she and the baby are expected to make a full recovery. Now, CHP has taken over the investigation for the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department, but we're still waiting on them to release the name of the suspect and what charges he may face. Guys, back to you. Yeah, pretty terrifying. Mark Thompson, thanks so much for that report.